skies are finally clearing after a stormy morning. Let's go back to Megan Glaros at the Meyer store in Rolling Meadows. Hello again. Erin and Mike, it is so nice to be out here and be helping all these folks get set up with weather radios. Such an important tool to have. Very critical this time of the year for sure. Now, as you know, these last few weeks have been on the active side with some severe weather, but definitely with the potential for flooding. Those are warnings that we can have programmed for you as well. Mary Kay will talk about that in just a second. The good news for our forecast today is that the weather is improving. Yes, it is still cloudy. Yes, we may still see a scattered shower out there, but it's it's not going to be as intense as yesterday's activity and moving forward into the weekend weather getting better temperature wise right now uh, most of our locations are in the 60s mostly in the mid 60s and expecting to climb a few additional degrees a little breezy out there right now with winds coming in out of the west southwest and what we're looking at moving into the afternoon is maybe a scattered shower out there a lot of cloud cover not much in the way of additional precipitation minor in terms of any kind of accumulation forecast highs today are going to be just just a few degrees up off where we are right now. So I think we flirt with 70 degrees. Not quite sure we hit it, but we get close to it. And we've actually had a few peaks of sunshine out here as well. But the good news is even though temperatures cool down tomorrow, we are anticipating sunshine. And that is something we are so glad to see around here. Mary Kay, I mean, it is though this time of the year, that point where you really need to be prepared. Exactly. It's severe weather season. And for today, you can pick up a NOAA weather radio at a special discounted price today. We're in Rolling Meadows and joining me is Bruce Jones with Midland Radio. You know, tell us why everybody relies on their cell phone. Yeah. Why is the NOAA weather radio better? Well, for a lot of reasons, Mary Kay. Number one, I don't always have my cell phone with me. Sometimes it's down in the kitchen. But also in a big event, a really big event like the Joplin tornado, the cell phone system simply did not work. Mm. The system collapsed. There were too many phone calls trying to be placed at the same time. A NOAA weather radio is a radio broadcast direct from the National Weather Service. So we encourage everyone to have more than one way to receive these life-saving warnings. And it will wake you up. A cell phone won't wake you up in the middle of the night, right? Right. When a NOAA weather radio goes off, it's pretty loud. So you can't, you can't ignore the fact that something important is happening. Exactly. And we're going to be here until 2 o'clock programming these radios. Rob has more on that. Yeah, it's a great service that's provided here, not only when you pick up a NOAA weather radio, but I have Amy Seeley here from the National Weather Service. You guys are the ones that actually issue the warning. So tell us why it's so important to have it programmed for that specific location. Um, the great thing about these radios and the programmability is it'll only alarm for the counties that you want it to and listen to, so you're not listening to areas that don't aren't really necessarily near you, and you get much more detailed uh, warnings for you. Fantastic service that they provide, and you can also come out and meet the team and also meet very important folks like Ed Curran. Ed. Well, you know, we're talking about weather safety with the radios and other things, and that's why the American Red Cross is here, ISIS is here with us, to tell us what they're doing, keeping people prepared, right? Yes, uh, it's very important for uh, people to be prepared, to have emergency preparedness kits. Um, in those kits, you should have, you know, water, non-perishable items, a seven-day, um, you know, supply of medications, and also people can download the Red Cross emergency app and to help them stay informed in case of um, um, you know, severe weather or an emergency. Yeah, so it's a great way to be prepared and to come out here and learn about what the Red Cross is up to. We got all kinds of freebies out here for you as well. Come see us out here at the Meyer store in Rolling Meadows. We'd love to see you. Aaron and Mike, back to you. So